All right, Gemini, this was interesting to me in what I'm getting from this is that the mask that people are wearing, the people around you, is falling away. They're not as great as they appeared to be to you. Now, for some of you, you're taking off your own mask here and not being something for the benefit of another person, not being something that you're not anymore. But I think that for a lot of you, you're realizing that some of the people that are around you that have been influencing you are not that great. So Immortal from Lay Vampire, The Consuming Family and Pressure of Peers and All That Glitters from Wisdom of the Oracle. Immortal specifically talks about separating from people who are stunting your growth. It's a reminder that you are responsible for creating your own life. You get to live your life the way that you choose. But it's because of all that glitters. It's you seeing now what is fake and what is real, especially in terms of people around you. It says, the truth is that people seek to acquire things because of what they will do for them and how they symbolically will elevate them and make them more attractive. This card signals that it's time to see beyond the adornments and probe underneath the surface. Learn to recognize the masks people wear and the motives underlying them. Imagine that all that glitters is gone. Would you still desire the object or the person? Right? So I think that for a lot of you, it's more about, you know, I see you for what you are now. You know, I, I want to say that I don't... How do I put this? What I'm getting is... I didn't want to see this. I wanted to believe the fake, you know, like you had higher expectations when it comes to certain people in your life. And that's only going to be for some of you, but here's your overall, oh boy, the six of cups. So what is in the past? The star, damn man. So, you know, if we're talking about, if this is in connection to the Oracle cards for some of you, all of that falling away, all of that fake falling away, it's opening the door for you to see the past a little bit differently when it comes to your star, so to speak. But what I like about this is with the past being the overall here with the Six of Cups, looking at the star, this is you going back to a time when you were very clear on what it is that you want. Now, for some of you, though, the star is going to represent some healing, some healing that you may still need to do in regards to the past. But I still see both of these as a really good thing moving forward for you. Now, with the Six of Cups as the overall, we could be talking about you making a connection with a person from the past, which is possible. Somebody who may be trying to make amends, which is another possibility here. But, you know, the star, right? Like, the star is hope, healing, emotional balance. You know, seeing the bigger, the better. Right. And I feel like for a lot of you, whatever is happening right now, you know, whether it has to do with people or not, it's pushing you into a place where you're getting to realize what you've always wanted to have or always wanted to achieve. It's good and it feels good. Okay. So people, and here we go, the three of cups. And then with the six of cups, absolutely. It could be about, you know, people that are coming in and wanting to make amends with you, maybe wanting to apologize. I don't, because of your Oracle cards, there is nothing here suggesting that there's anything that you need to like apologize for or make amends for. If that is the case, like, I feel like for some of you, it's somebody else doing this, but you know, I have to see here. The Three of Cups, I mean, especially with the star, can be talking about, you know, the support of people around you, people who are supporting you, helping you with some healing, with something in the past, something that you're still needing to, you know, get balance on. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't feel bad about it, though. Okay, Future Conditions, the Queen of Wands. Some of you, I think, are realizing, uh, and this is only going to be for some of you, you're realizing a dream from the past. And with the Queen of Wands being in future conditions, you know, I see her as a star, right? Because I think of self-image with her. What she projects out to the world is, you know, look at me. I'm fantastic, right? And she is super fun, super enthusiastic, fun to be around. Some of you are taking on this right now. 
you know, the only thing that I would say with the Queen of Wands is for some of you, though, you may have your own past issues, but you also may have people like gathering around you that have, you know, things that they're trying to heal and trying to fix. And what I want to say to you is that you can't fix everybody. You know, but then I also feel like there's somebody specific from the past that is wanting some attention from you. And it may be because you're in a better place right now, which is possible. But I feel like all of this is leading into a place where I think that you feel a little bit more confident and better about yourself when it comes to people that you're dealing with, the bigger and the better picture here. You know, not being fooled by other people, absolutely, with the Oracle cards. But I still see this as, because I can't get past the image on this one. The Six of Cups is about happy memories, okay? When you're looking at it in the reverse, it's talking about, you know, clinging on to a difficult past or a difficult childhood. I don't necessarily feel like this is going to have to do with kids for you. I think it's directly related to your past and someone from your past because of the Three of Cups. So to me, this looks like somebody who is like making a peace offering almost. But I think that for some of you, you're still trying to heal things from the past. You know, I do think that you have a group of people around you that actually care about you and want to support you, yes. But then, like I said, at the same time, I feel like you're not being fooled, right? Like, I, I feel like for some of you, whether you're male or female, you're the one woman or one man show here, so to speak. But I still feel like some of you have people surrounding you. Like, I need your help now. Well, you know, my question then is, where were you in the past? You know what I mean? I still feel good about the Queen of Wands, though. Now, for some of you, this could be the person that is coming through. Male, female, fire, doesn't matter to me. But if we are talking about somebody who's still wearing a mask, the Queen of Wands kind of does that in a way. You know? But I don't feel anything, you know, specifically negative about this. I think that the intention is to heal issues from the past. Your best path to follow the five of wands don't get caught up in pettiness don't get caught up in that and be careful on how you take things that are being said to you though too it's not a five of swords situation here but you know this is butting of heads you're not hearing me you're not understanding what i'm telling you you don't want to get caught up in that right now for some of you it is going to be the inner conflict especially based on memories from the past that need to be healed right but I would be careful. I would be careful about, you know, getting caught up in conflict with people surrounding you. Make sure that what you're communicating is very clear. And if you are dealing with any kind of competition in terms of other people, I do think that you come out on top. Especially if you're internalizing her with that as the past coming through. Hell yeah. But don't get caught up in pettiness, you know. Make sure that you're acting from a place of integrity, basically. But whatever conflict is surrounding the past, right? Like, there, to me, looking at this is no point in even bringing that up if we're trying to heal it, right? In your environment, the Page of Wands. Now, mm, I feel like because of the Six of Cups, this is a road you've been down before. This is nothing new to you, but there's something new about it. It feels like it's a new opportunity. And again, with the pages, communication, right? It could be somebody communicating to you, you know, but this is generally the good news, you know, the things that you want to hear, right? It's exciting. It's new. It leads to a new path, but it's coming through based on people surrounding you. And even if this is about you choosing to take a new path or to do something that, you know, may not have worked out well in the past, there's still support for you. But I, I feel like this is communication coming through something that, you know, you, you've wanted, right? And maybe have hoped for with the star. This communication that's going to lead to the healing and, you know, the ability to take a new path here. I think some of you feel a little bit better about who you are. I don't think that you're trying to be something that you're not. And I think that if anybody is trying to do that with you, absolutely, like you're seeing through that. But this to me feels like somebody who's trying to create a new path with you. But you've been there. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing, you know. 
Oh boy, your hopes and your fears, the Queen of Swords. Okay, and you're okay coming out. You know, I feel like you have a lot of confidence in yourself. But there's also a part of you that, you know, especially with the Queen of Swords, is not willing to be completely open, right? Like, I think that there is a part of you that is not trying to be cutthroat or bitter or hateful, but you're not going to be fooled again. I mean, and that's basically what that is. The hope there would be that this is a part of yourself that, you know, you're going to remember moving forward, that there is a reason why things needed to be healed in the first place. If you have somebody communicating to you, even a friend here, right? I think there is a little bit of hesitance, a hesitancy on your part. But like I said, don't get caught up in misunderstandings and conflict, you know? Be the Queen of Swords. Be direct. Be blunt. Be honest. I'm not playing games with you. I will work with you like you're still taking that hand, but there are things that you will not tolerate anymore, right? And that's only fair. But I'm not seeing anything super horrible here. I actually see this as, you know, a better way forward for you and for people that are around you and people that are directly connected to you, your past history, right? But like, I don't blame you. And then coming out the world, very nice. But the thing is, is for me, is this isn't coming from the other person, nor are you expecting the other person to give you the closure. You're getting that on your own, right? That's great and all that you want to come back and that you want to make amends and, you know, you want to be supportive and you want to take a new path with me. But let me be very clear with you. I'm not playing games. I'm not doing this anymore. You are the one coming out on top, but you're doing what's necessary to get closure here with the world. And it's a good thing, right? Because this cycle is done with. It's the successful completion. Like every time I see that card, I want to go like this, right? It's done. You know, and it's done in a way where you feel okay with moving forward, right? And then the Wheel of Fortune, geez. All right. And this is what I'm talking about, how you've been there before. But where you've been before, it may be a new path, but the negative things, the negative things that you find out about have to be cleared up here, right? Or anything negative holding you back from letting go of the past and getting, you know, this completion here. The High Priestess with the star, there is something that you're not aware of that is going to come out in a way that makes you feel like this situation can be fixed, healed, corrected, right? Now, if we're talking about, you know, your own popularity, your own stardom, so to speak, right? The High Priestess is like, I didn't know. I didn't know that that was what this was leading to, you know, but like I said, I feel like for a lot of you, this is going to have to do with somebody who's trying to make amends with you. The Devil. You know, to me, that makes sense with the Page of Wands. I, I had a feeling something about this makes me feel like you've already been down this road before. It is something good. You know, it, there's something exciting about taking this new path with someone in particular. But there are still a lot of negative attachments to the past specifically. So, you know, especially if there's something coming out that you weren't aware of, you know, you may have seen it in a negative light, but I feel like, you know, the whole purpose here is to get past the devil, right? With the Wheel of Fortune, it's up to you. It's up to you. You know, this is definitely the opportunity for better things to happen. You're absolutely looking at the end of the cycle, but if you're going to go back around with someone here, it's going to be up to you to kind of guide that wheel in the right direction, right? These circumstances don't have to repeat themselves. You know, this is supposed to be a good opportunity, fortune, favor, fate, right? And all of it feels really good to me other than the negative attachments that have to do directly with the past and people around you or a person in particular. But I feel like for some of you, it's going to be more than one. You know, I, for some of you, yeah, I, th this may have to do with third party situations. But I don't know, I, I see this more so as friendships, people who should have been there for you before, right? You know, especially with the Queen of Swords being there, you know, but don't get caught up in pettiness anymore. Don't get caught up in any conflict. Be very clear, very direct with the way that you communicate so that nothing can be misunderstood anymore. I'm not going to play with words. I'm just going to tell you straight up. And if you don't understand, then that is their problem, not yours.
right? Adventure. I'm seeing this one a lot. And balance. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Emotional balance. So intuition. Your intuition is going to tell you whether or not this new adventure is the right thing to do. But before you take this adventure, your intuition may be telling you that you need to come from a place of balance. Now, for some of you, right? Pay attention to what your intuition is telling you. Take this new adventure, right? But make sure that the end goal here is that you get healing and balance. It's not bad. You know, and there's nothing here indicating that this isn't something that you shouldn't be open to. You know, like I understand the Queen of Swords, but I think for you, the fear would be that this is going to end up being the same kind of situation over again where you're having to cut people out. But the whole point this time is to not have to do that anymore. Wise leader. Nice. You are a beacon for others. Uh, it's a, it's going to be up to you, right? And again, I feel like for some of you, these people are surrounding you, you know, especially if you're internalizing the queen of wands right now, but you are going to be the one that is going to show people a better way. Once you take a step back and get a different perspective, it's not bad, Gemini. I think, like I said, all of this is leading up to, you know, you seeing people for what they really are, but then also being open to possibly making amends with some people who I feel like should have been there for you before. 